case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that revolved around the fundamental legal principle that substantial evidence can lead to a conclusive verdict, the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit presided over United States v. Carter in 1971. The events that led to the lawsuit involved a seemingly ordinary cab ride turning deadly. A part-time cab driver picked up the appellant and his accomplice. During the ride, a sudden act of violence unfolded when the accomplice shot the cab driver and stole his change carrier. Peculiarly, the appellant's cigarettes were found at the crime scene, suggestive of his presence during the heist. More evidence emerged, showcasing the brutality of the crime. The cab driver's jacket pocket was found turned inside out, his change carrier missing. Despite having recorded $24.60 in fares, only a solitary dollar bill lay in his wallet. Originally, the appellant was indicted for premeditated murder, along with charges of robbery and felony murder. However, the district court directed a verdict for Carter, thereby acquitting him of the charge of premeditated murder, but convicting him for robbery and felony murder. The appellant contested the verdict, principally on the grounds that the testimony of James McKell, the key witness, lacked credibility. However, the jury's trust in McKell's testimony remained steadfast. In an appeal brought forward by the appellant bound by convictions of robbery and felony murder, the court underscored the absence of trial prejudice and error. The Court of Appeals upheld the lower court's verdict, thereby affirming the appellant's convictions. Notably, the court maintained the previous decision of discarding the charge of premeditated murder. Thus, the Court of Appeals handed down a judgment that straddled the boundary of justice and punitive action. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.